a little update for you guys and a little education here. We're gonna try to do, um, show you exactly what we got going on. This is one of our newer ball pythons this year. See the label here, it's Het VPI Xanthic Clown. So that's Ryan's perfect label. So we're going to show you what it looks like. This little guy ate uh, not that long ago, so I'm going to be real gentle with him. But kind of looks normal. There's a handful of things that look make it look really pretty. There's a reduced pattern here, a little bit melty. Um, this is a little brighter on the dorsal than normal um, without getting too crazy. The belly is dirty, but kind of looks normal. So why is that? And why would this be a Het VPI Xanthic and Het Clown? So that's two recessive genes. So we're gonna talk about recessive and codom genes. This is a double recessive. That means that there's two recessive genes in it and codominant genes are visual genes, whereas recessive genes, it takes two to be visual. So I'm gonna explain that real quick with you. We're gonna put him back and we're going to or her back and we're going to show you another snake as well. Recessive is kind of like the idea of people with blonde hair. You can have two people with brown hair have a child that has blonde hair. So what happens is they both have a gene, both the parents have a gene for blonde hair, but they don't have two genes each. So they have brown hair, which is a codominant gene. Then those two genes get together and they have a child that got lucky enough to have the two recessive genes go together. And I'm not saying that blondes are lo more lucky than brown haired people or other different colored haired people, but the two genes get together and then they have a visual expression of the heterary gene, which would be for blonde. So this snake here, you can take a look. Ryan's gonna get a good close up is our Leopard Orange Dream Vanilla Het Clown. Right. <laughs> Possible Head Clown. Possible Head Clown. And so you can see the Leopard and the Vanilla in here and the Orange Dream. Maybe it's important to discuss why it's Possible Head. So the Possible Head, thank you Ryan, when you have two parents that are both visually expressing the gene, then all of the babies will be 100% visual. They'll all show the visual expression because each parent will give one gene of the recessive gene or the recessive trait and it'll be visually expressed. Now, if you have one visual parent and one non-recessive parent, then all of the babies would be 100% het for the recessive gene. If you had a, a visual clown, all of the babies would be 100% het. Now, if you had one het parent and one codon parent that didn't have the recessive gene, then the babies would be possible heads. Um, and then there's percentages. So you can have a het, 100% het, to another 100% het, and you'll have 66% het possible hets, which means there's a 66% chance that the babies will have the heterary gene for the recessive trait. If it's only one parent that is het, then you'll have a 50% het possible het, which means that only 50% chance that it's a het or carries the heterary gene. So you'll never know until you breed the snakes to prove them out. And so people talk about proving out the snakes or the genetics and they say it can take kind of a long time. And I'm gonna show you one more snake that's also a head. So this is our Fire Spot Nose Het Clown Lavender Albino Pied. So, what does that mean? So this is a Fire Spot Nose 
which are both codominant genes. And then it has three heterary genes. It has lavender albino, pied, and clown. So that's three genes. Count them, three. And again, this snake just ate not that long ago, so we're being real gentle with her. But she's a beautiful snake. The spot nose really does a cool head stamp there with the fire brightening up the sides, has a really cool pattern. But again, you don't see the visual trait of clown, lavender albino, or pied in this. But she has all three heterary genes in it. So we're really excited about this one because we can breed him to many different options and get possible visual snakes out of them, depending on the genetics of the mate that he breeds with. And it's super hard to get triple recessive stuff. And it's super hard to get triple recessive stuff. Quick update on the uh, Enchi Banana to Fire clutch that didn't yield any bananas, but we have a lot of beautiful babies. They've had their fourth meal now. This is a female, normal. We have all these listed on Morph Market, or feel free to text Ben if you have any questions. And another female normal, who is shedding. We got a male fire which is an oddball. Most of these, uh, due to the sex length nature of the banana, uh, anything not banana should have been female and bananas would be male. And you get a very small percentage of banana females that come out. It's like five or less percent of every clutch, if you're lucky. <laughs> but we got the reverse, so good for us. Now fire, beautiful looking. We have a female fire. Looks very nice. Wow. Look at that. How's that lighting? Fine. Very strong head stamps on these. There's another female fire. Let's see here. Have a very high expression female inchy. The orange up the sides is really crazy. And this little guy hiding under here is an inchy fire female. That uh, amount of blushing on that is crazy. And that's your update on that clutch. Stay tuned. Ben's gonna show you some snakes now. <laughs> oh, you going to how to palpate? Right, guys thanks for tuning in we appreciate you watching our videos don't forget our giveaway we're doing we have a really cool rb reptile swag pack with a custom snake hook and cool t-shirts and hats and stickers so go check out that video comment on it so you can get in also give us a subs subscribe give us a subscribe and a like and a comment on this video because it makes me happy and i don't know i hope you are just nice and do that. <laughs> All right, thanks. I mean, you kind of look like a uh, captain of a ship or something. <laughs> All right. Um. All right, guys. Okay. Dude, I'm sweating like crazy. Um...
Man, I'm getting real hot and sweaty, dude. I don't know what it is. It's so humid in here. What the heck, man? I was just saying how hot it is. Are you gonna spray me? Uh. <laughs> Can't make me laugh more than a camera.